Okay, so let's say I want to find this area that's shaded in blue between the x-axis and the graph of y equals x squared from x equals zero to x equals two. There's a process for approximating this area. So I'm gonna divide the interval into smaller pieces, which is called a partition, and then I'm gonna create a rectangle for each partition. Then I find the area of each rectangle and add them all up. So how many pieces I do is up to me. The more pieces I do, the more accurate the estimate will be. And how I actually create the height of the rectangle is gonna be up to me. So let's see what this looks like. So for my first example, I'm just gonna do two pieces. That means that I'm gonna take this interval that is zero, two, and I'm gonna replace it with two smaller intervals from zero to one and one to two. So if I think about that, that means that when I go to create this rectangle, the width of each rectangle that I'm creating is going to be 1, because I have from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 2. Let me go ahead and point that out. That rectangle 1 here, the width is 1. And I have a second rectangle that I haven't drawn yet, rectangle 2, whose width will also be 1. So I've drawn the base of the two rectangles. Now let's figure out what I want to do for the heights of the rectangles. So for this first rectangle, rectangle 1, whose base goes from 0 to 1. In this example, I'm going to use what's called a left-hand rule, which means I'm always going to choose the left end point. Choose the y, the f of x value at the left end point as the height of the rectangle. That's my strategy. If I look at the left end point of 0, 1, that left end point is 0. And the height of the curve at the left end point is 0. So for rectangle 1, I have a width of 1 and a height of 0, which means that the area will be 0 times 1 or 0. That's OK. It can happen. So for this second rectangle, I'm just going to take the height to be the f of x value at the left end point, which is x equals 1. So my second rectangle that I'm drawing here looks like this. Now this isn't drawn to scale because the y-axis is taller, but if I think about what this height would be, it's going to be whatever that left end point is squared. So the height would be 1 squared and the width would be 1. The area of rectangle, so I have a width of 1, have a height of 1 squared, or 1, and the area of rectangle 2 will be 1. And then I'm just going to add these two together so that I have 0 plus 1. And my approximation under this process with two pieces in a left-hand rule would be that the approximate area is 1. So that would be my final answer. Approximate area is 1. Now that's not a very good approximation. So what could I do to make this be more accurate? Well, there are two choices that I had to make. The first choice I had to make was how many pieces am I going to do? So for that, I decided two. What if I decided instead to do it with four? So let's do this process again, but this time let's do four pieces, four rectangles. So I'm going to chop this into four intervals that go from 0 to 0 0.5, from 0 0.5 to 1, from 1 to 1.5 and from 1.5 to 2. And now let's look at so from 0 to 0 0.5 and I'm still going to use this left hand rule. So the width of this interval is 0 0.5. And I'm taking the left hand height here, which the height then will be 0 squared. So for rectangle 1, I have 0 0.5 times 0. For rectangle 2, I'm looking from this rectangle, I'm shading it in blue more of a purplish color. So the width is still going to be 0 0.5. The width of all of these is going to be 0 0.5. But I have 0 0.5 times, and now I look at the left end point here. So the left end point of 0 0.5 to 1 is 0 0.5, and so the height of this rectangle is f of 0 0.5, which would be 0 0.5 squared. So the area of this second rectangle will be 0 0.5, which is the width times 0 0.5 squared, which is the height. Now, for the third rectangle, covering from here to here, again, the width is going to be 0 0.5, and the height will be whatever this left-hand height is. And since this goes from 1 to 1 1.5, the height of this rectangle will be 1 squared, or f of 1. So R3 will be 0 0.5 times 1 squared. And finally, R4 will go this rectangle, because I'm using the left end point, and that left end point will be 1.5, so that height will be f of 1.5, 
or 1.5 squared. So I have four rectangles here, R1 through R4, and I've been able to calculate what the area of each of these will be. So these calculations line up to the areas of these rectangles that I've shaded. So my approximation for the overall area would just be adding these numbers up. It would be 0 0.5 times 0 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 squared plus 0 0.5 times 1 squared plus 0 0.5 times 1.5 squared. And we can type that into Wolfram Alpha and get our approximation. Times 0 squared plus 0 0.5 times 5 squared plus 0 0.5 times 1 squared plus 0 0.5 times 1.5 squared. Our approximation here is 1.75.